Okay, we're going to take swing plane on a little further from our last lesson. Um, I've got two swings here up on the GASP system. We've got uh, the better swing plane on the left and a very common swing plane that I see on the right from golfers. So let's just take swing plane back to the first stage which we mentioned in um, the first video I did on swing plane about trying to get the club to point somewhere down between your feet and the ball. So you can see here on the left hand screen when my left arm is parallel to the ground which is around here you can see the shaft of the club is pointing down between my feet and the ball. Now what I've also done on this swing plane uh, video is I've drawn a second line so this top line here going through my shoulders is my uh, hand swing plane and my arm swing plane. So one bottom line here following the swing plane of the shaft so you can see the shaft just setting slightly steeper than the original angle of the shaft as the club moves back but what you're going to see on the left hand picture as well is you're going to see my hands moving nicely and comfortably inside of the top line this is keeping my hands and the shaft and my club all connected together on one plane following a a similar path a similar plane very connected very united which will help create consistent shots here on the right, I've seen, uh, I've done a demonstration of what I see a lot day in, day out of golfers doing. Um, in an attempt to try and swing the club from the inside, hit the ball from the inside, what I see a lot of golfers doing is setting the club back on this flat plane, this inside path, which gets the shaft shooting off much flatter. Um, the shaft shoots off much flatter than the picture on the left, as you can see. So you see the line points somewhere off into the distance. Um, so my shaft line isn't between the ball and my feet like it was on the, or is on the picture on the left. But this is caused a lot by the movement of my hands. See how my hands move away from my body as I take the club away from the ball. So the club shaft is what we would call flat, but my hand line on my arms are swinging on a very upright plane. So my hands are almost going from the beginning straight up. They're not coming around at all. Um, this creates a very disjointed backswing where the hands are stuffed out in front of my body and the club is stuffed way behind my body. So no connection in the backswing. Very hard to coordinate that back to the ball. Um, and more often than not you get this kind of laid off position at the top of your backswing. You see on the left hand pitch here I'm setting the club much more up towards the target. And then you're going to see the different planes it creates on the downswing. So what happens on the downswing is hands again shoot outside of the hand plane line and then followed by the club which makes me hit aggressively from the outside where when I made the more connected backswing on the left hand pitch here where my hands and the shaft followed more of a, a similar path um, you can see my hands are setting just inside the top line here the arm path line and you also see my shaft also coming down relatively on plane as well which is creating a much better angle of attack where I'm hitting through the ball where on the right hand picture you see I'm hitting very much across so um, just watch your swing plane obviously the best way to check it is this position on the back swing making sure the club is pointing down towards the ground between your feet and the ball which you can see on this left hand picture it is but to do that you've got to make sure that your hands are coming back towards you on the back swing as you can see on the right hand picture here there's no use setting your hands so far out in front of your body see how you have my hands here my left hand my gloved hands way out in front of my body it sets the club what amateurs will feel is a flat plane with the shaft but it's a very steep plane with my hands and it's that steep plane with my hands which is encouraging me to hit from the outside putting that left to right spin on it giving me the slice or even pulling the ball straight left get that swing plane set on the back swing hands arms and shaft all coming back towards you with the shaft setting up in the air and that'll help you get more on playing on the downswing and hit through the ball Give that a go, guys. Let me know how you get on.